Hey guys, you listen to podcast for for today. It's me and John. We're going to be talking about the Welsh um, devolution. And John, obviously being Welsh, he has a lot more knowledge on this than me. So, John, would you like to take it away? Okay then. So basically, what's happening on March the first is there's going to be a referendum for the Welsh devolution, which is Wales will be able to make will have more lawmaking powers than previously. We've already got lawmaking powers on things like education, mm-hmm. uh, healthcare, like the NHS and stuff. Like in England, you have to pay for prescriptions, but in Wales, you don't. And all this other stuff like that. We have our own league table for different hospitals and stuff. Yeah. But if uh, it's put, if it's everyone votes yes over no, obviously, then we're going to get more lawmaking powers. <clears throat> all right. Um, history behind this is it's been tried before in 1997 uh, the Welsh devolution referendum is a 1997 it was a pre-legislative referendum to determine whether there was support for the creation of an assembly for the Wales with devolved, devolved powers even right and um, it was it's thought that because Wales has got a large immigrant population from places like England Ireland uh, even like mainland Europe, that it didn't go through. It wasn't an overwhelming majority which said no, but it was still enough to for it, for it not to go through. But we did end up getting our own assembly. Okay. Good. So if 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 Wales and the Welsh people are to get um, this devolution um, passed through on March the first, what kind of percentage are we looking at? Like how how much of the population? Uh, will have to say yes. Like, what what kind of percentage will have to say yes for this to go ahead? Um, I'm not too sh- sure on that, but I'm gonna going to assume it's more than the other half. So, say, eighty percent say yes, and the other twenty percent say no. Then obviously I'll go through. Um, I'm not, do you, do sure you, do you th- are you confident that it will go ahead this time? Like, um, I'm well, not too sure because I'm not expecting a large turnout of people to vote, only mm-hmm. because not many people know what's going to happen I mean like they've been trying to pump it on the Welsh news obviously you get like London news there we get Welsh news but not yep. many people know it's actually going to, going to happen I didn't know it was going to happen I, I've been watching in the news but I didn't think they were actually going to be able to do it because they were going to do it when the general elections were but they pushed it back to now because they thought people were going to get confused okay. so either people forgot about it or um, they just don't know about it but obviously it's going ahead on March the 1st. We've had the polling cards through and stuff, so hopefully there'll be quite a large turnout. Um, so people are voting on March the 1st? Yeah, March the 1st is when it is. They only have one day to vote, and is that it? Yeah, you got one day to vote, and then I'm not sure how long it will take to count the votes, but I can't imagine it taking that long. And I'm not entirely sure how long it would take for the actual thing to take precedent over what is in power now, so... Mm. If it's a yes, I don't know if it would take a week, month, year for the powers yeah. to be installed onto the uh, assembly. Yeah. Um, it be soon. So if if it hopefully, obviously, I'm hoping that it does uh, for your sake, and uh, you know, it it makes me happy that um a, a people can actually decide what they want on, on their own land. So I really do hope it, it goes through and it's and um you know it's accepted. Yeah. Uh, what kind of things would you be able to do? What kind of new laws? Would you expect the Welsh Assembly, this new Welsh Assembly, to install? Um, well, compared to the rest of the UK, Wales is more more Labour territory. Like England's more conservative, apart from yep. the north, and you got Wales. Wales primarily like a Labour place to be, yep. more left wing than anything else. You got they'll probably do stuff like decriminalise most most things, or just change laws such as. For example, say in England, if you got caught doing selling cannabis to someone, you got five years in jail. I'm not sure what the term is. Yeah. In Wales, they might increase in the term you get in jail, or they might decrease in, or they might okay. decriminalize certain things. Or um, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I think they'll get some power over taxes. Okay. So, so like um, council tax and stuff like that. So they'd be able to change them. I think I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Oh, it really does um, sound hopeful. I hope this time around it is successful. Um, if any new developments come along, um, I'm sure John will uh, 
we'll be more than happy to partake in another um, podcast about the issue. Uh, yeah, definitely. If there are any viewers who feel passionate about this, who have any views or opinions, then please make them uh, visible in the comments below. We would love to hear from you and we will, of course, reply. Um, anything you want to throw in, John, lastly? Um, well, yeah, I was just going to say that, that there's be actually been no no campaign. That all the campaigns that have been going forward so far for the devolution have been campaigns to um, want devolution. I think there was one about saying no, but they had a really, really devoid argument for saying no. Which I is... think it was something to do with uh, Wales becoming like communist Russia or something like that. <sighs> So it, it was it was kind of like they were trying to push in. They were just coming up with like stupid things. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I kind of uh, hopeful at the fact then it, it should go through. I don't see any, any reason why it shouldn't. I presume I, mean, I presume you'll be voting yes. Yeah, of course I will be. And your whole family too, and your friends and everyone. Yeah. Well, everyone I know is going to vote yes. So, but you, you, I've I haven't got like a majority spec. Like I don't know a lot of people who are probably from France who live in Wales or England or somewhere like that so that so they might be voting something else but I mean if you live in Wales or you've ever lived in Wales then you know Welsh people are the kind of a not that they don't like English people they would rather have their own lawmaking powers than being told what to do I mean the English wouldn't like it if, if the Welsh were making decisions for them so I don't I don't see why they should really care if the Welsh want to choose their own kind of path, you know what I mean? Well, I think it goes so far back that Wales has always been part of the UK. Mm. Well, not always, but since, was it William the Conqueror or Henry VII? Who knows? I, my history's not that great. <laughs> On the British Isles, anyway. So it goes so far back. I mean, Britain, Wales has always been part of Britain. When, like, you got kind of split on Welsh people calling themselves British. Some some Welsh people don't. They think, oh, I'm just Welsh. That's all I am. Mm. But uh, personally, I call myself Welsh and British. So, some people p- might think there's there's no point. We're one country, we're Britain. So, what's the point in having Wales having their own lawmaking powers and stuff? So, there's that argument as well. I suppose. Yeah. Well, as as I said, uh, we will keep you guys updated if you're interested. So, subscribe if you if you want to um, have good access to the videos. If you want to keep updated, um, I guess until next time. Uh, It's been me, Lutrum, and John. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye.